My controller? Yeah. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. Alright, so recently I was working in a film equipment rental house, and just last week I had to go to urgent care because I thought I had a hernia. Long story short, I came back to work after the weekend and I was let go for not being able to handle the physical labor. Frankly, it was a bit of a wake up call and now I'm going all in on flying trying to make it as an FPV pilot. With all that being said, the week after being fired, the pressure was on to deliver awesome clips. With no backup quad and no real source of income, trying to get high quality clips has just been a real challenge. I don't know if you've been keeping up with my daily posts, but I recently started this series called Flying the Same Spot but Increasing the Difficulty. The series is actually doing really well and I'm loving shooting that type of short form content. But if you haven't seen it, I'll play the clips now while I'm talking so you don't have to look at my face. The whole point of this series is to take people who don't know about FPV, put them in the position of the pilot where you're constantly thinking of new ways to fly the spot and make it more challenging on yourself. So as the difficulty levels come out day by day, it's exciting seeing what I came up with and if it matches their expectations. Ideally the way I would shoot these is I would be able to show up to a new spot, fly around and warm up at level 1, and then slowly work my way up to level 3 and get all three clips in the same day so that I can have them stockpiled and ready to go and ready to post. But that's super difficult expectation, especially with no backup quad and no money to buy one. In reality, I ended up going to this bridge five days in a row to get these clips and I broke a lot of stuff and just went back and repaired it at my house every single time. You may be wondering why I'm talking about a bridge when the whole intro is just a bunch of clips at a cave. The reason is the first video I ever tried to shoot with my Bardwell DIY was at that cave. I just got my GoPro and it was my first new spot I'd gone to outside of the baseball field that I fly every day. Immediately when I got there, the adrenaline started flowing. It's so crazy flying a new spot, especially one that's that cool and that not a lot of pilots have been through before. So I sat down, replaced a couple props with my drone, armed it, and tried to take off. In all my excitement, I accidentally put the props on wrong and sent my drone right down the hill into a rock, breaking the FC. So I drove all the way back home, got my racing quad, and haphazardly attached my GoPro to the top of it. I went back to the cave, and when I got there, this is what happened. And the moral of this small tragic story is that when you show up to a spot and you're so excited to fly, take a breather. So I went home depressed and defeated by this cave and proceeded to fight my way through the beginning of this channel. And that brings us to today. After all the challenges and practice, my previous two videos, we're going back to the cave. We're gonna beat this thing once and for all. So during my second attempt at flying at this cave, I realized that I'm actually sort of developing a process for shooting increasingly difficult lines at these spots that I wish I would have known when I went and shot at the bridge because that would have saved me a lot of grief. Basically, it's just a little pre-flight checklist that allowed me to actually shoot all three levels the same day, which was just so convenient. I mean, firstly, there's the technical checklist. Are your lipos in good shape? Is everything charged? Are the props on correctly? Check all the switches on your radio. Make sure you clean off the camera that's attached to your Vista. Check to see if there's any missing screws. Make sure everything's still soldered on, and so on and so forth. But more importantly than the technical stuff is this. You are definitely going to crash. It's time to make a contingency plan. It's my understanding that a lot of professional freestyle pilots with sponsors and backup quads and extra GoPros, they'll just go up and fly. And I'm happy that works for them. But for hobbyists and beginners like myself, that's a recipe for disaster. So 
So all I'm recommending that you do is just walk around the spot and imagine the lines that you're gonna do. Imagine where you're probably gonna crash because there's nothing more annoying than zeroing in on a line that's just awesome. And then you crash somewhere where you can't even get to the drone. And that's just a silly way to lose your quad because yeah, you're gonna crash, but you can at least choose in the ballpark where you're gonna crash. But yeah, using that simple logic, I was able to get all three of these clips in the same day without doing anything stupid and losing my stuff. So anyways, that's the whole video. Short and sweet one today. I'm actually working on a much bigger video, which is coming out next week. My goal is to do this full time, and obviously now that I'm unemployed, it's sink or swim. So definitely hit that button, drop a like for the algorithm, and I will see you in the next video.